Congratulations on the UFC contract. Obviously hard earned tonight. The eye is getting worse by the moment, so we won't keep you long. But I guess just what's your, what's your emotion? How are you feeling right now? Uh, I, feel, I feel pretty good. Uh, I let it get a lot closer than it should have. Uh, <clears throat> I got a little impatient in there and started getting a little bit more frustrated than, than I should have. And I started pushing a little bit more than I should have. And it's whatever, though. It's all learning experience. I mean, that's part of the show as well, though, right? It's putting on exciting fights. Things are going to get people's attention. I mean, it was an incredibly exciting fight. So are you, is, is there any pleasure in the performance at all since you got the deal, or is it just just upset? It seems like you're frustrated right now. No, no, I'm, I'm going for the kill. I didn't get the finish, and I consider it damn near a loss, in my opinion. That said, you did get the contract, so I guess um, – as you're sitting there watching the rest of the night go on, knowing how hard it, you clearly are on yourself, did you think the performance was going to be good enough to get a contract? I believe so. I, be, I believe that I put on a good show. Uh, I, don't really, <clears throat> I don't really know how it looks like from the outside till I study the tape, but I felt like I put on an adequate performance, and it gave me a lot to think about. I faced adversity in that first round, I got clipped with a shot that I didn't even really feel, you know, but it looks a lot worse than it felt. And uh, it started. When they brought in the doctor, I'm like, oh, gee, I'm like, this must look bad, you know. But I could see fine. Uh, my movement was fine. I didn't really, it didn't phase me. Have you gotten any initial medical evaluation on it yet? Do you know, like, is there anything broken or, or anything like that? I haven't gotten any uh, professional opinions, but I feel golden, and it's just a little, a little some, some, you know, just a couple, couple more stitches. I like it. Well, last thing for me, I'm assuming that'll heal up quickly. I guess ideally, do you have something in mind for your for your USC debut? Whether it be like, are you looking at locations or dates or opponents? I mean, is there anything that would be the ideal scenario for you? Uh, I really don't care, uh, <clears throat> but. I had an interview last week asking me similar questions, and fighting in the Madison Square Garden w is a dream of mine. I don't really have any opponents. I don't have any vendettas against anybody, but that Madison Arena is, uh, is a dream of mine. Hey, Clay. Um, how tough was it going from you know training for Steve Ersick, who's mainly a grappler, to going to Edgar, who's who's a stand-up striker. It ain't no thing. Uh, it's just a quick little switch up. I don't really let that affect how I go about the fight. It did switch up a little bit, obviously, but nothing too much. That, that stuff doesn't really phase me. And you kind of mentioned it in your post-fight interview, but you said that uh, you thought Edgar was a lot more tougher than you, th than you thought he was. Can you elaborate? Yeah, he, he put on a lot more weight than I thought he was going to be. I thought um, during the, during the weigh-ins, he, look, he, looked he looked pretty rough. He looked pretty skinny, and I thought I was going to be the bigger opponent in that fight. And when I got in that cage, it didn't look like it, and he felt a lot stronger than I, than I originally thought. I thought he was going to be skinnier and not have as much power as he did. But uh, he did a damn good job. <clears throat> Finally for me, concrete, where did that come from? Uh, that's just the homies, just talking shit, you know, like just going back and forth. And it kind of just... It kind of just had a, had a little ring to it, you know, Clayton Concrete Carpenter. But I don't put my nickname in uh, in the lineup for the being announced because my name's enough. You know, the the nickname is for Instagram and all that other shit, you know. So you're like a triple C almost? Yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to call it, you know. Congratulations. Thank you.